Okay, it's the 18th, or sorry, 13th of April, and uh, we are up here in Porterville on Highway 66. Um, they've got some water being diverted down uh, between some houses. Now, there's a, normally a, a ditch canal here, so uh, that ditch is just allowing the excess. However, earlier uh, last night, we had some water that you can see has, has uh, been running here. They've diverted with some sandbags. It's come out from up here in this road in between the houses that, that you can see up here, uh, up Kippen Lane. So uh, it doesn't look like, you know, the damage has been real severe, but these are all just the beginning incipient uh, stages of the, of the flooding. And the nice thing is that the cold uh, weather has slowed it down for giving us a break for a day or two. The bad thing is it's snowing, so that's what we're looking at. 13th of April and it's snowing. So uh, there's not expectation that the snowing will be large accumulations. So anyhow, this doesn't look like it's, like I said, been bad, but just the beginning. So. There it is. Okay, so we're up here, uh, East Canyon Creek. Uh, this is Richfield Lane, and just where it crosses, and you can see it is it is definitely getting full. Uh, looks like it's gone down a little bit from the high. You can see kind of along the bank where it is like eroded the snow. That most likely was the high yesterday. So it's gone down from there because of the cold, um, but still very high right now, and the snow is not helping. <laughs> That's what we're at uh, on the 13th of April. Okay, so still the 13th of April, just a little farther, uh, what would this be, north, uh, going uh, downstream from the East Canyon River. Uh, and you can see the water from the, the banks over here in this area is basically flooding. And so it's come over into these folks' property and filling. What's been amazing to me as I've driven, I mean, look, as you look up the valley, how much snow on the 13th of April is still in the valley floor. I mean, that's, that's what's just astounding. Uh, now, on the hills, you could see the hills that get, you know, broadside sun, they've uh, bared off pretty well, which has been nice. But the bad thing is, is on the north sides, those shady sides looking over here uh, towards like the AM in Morgan uh, you can tell there's still snow there and these are low-level hills these are hills that normally have bared off by mid-march um, and so we're a complete month behind on that and the problem is is your your high-level elevation areas are still uh, with an astronomical amount of snow that has not even been touched. The, the melting, the runoff has not even hit there. So when you look at flooding, um, I think, I suspect that a lot of people are going to expect that, you know, we're, we're going to see the highest points of flooding right now, uh, you know, mid-April to end of April, and then it's over. When in actuality, uh, your, your actual worst time for flooding, I suspect, is going to be mid-May to mid-June. So what you're seeing now is just the, the beginning, the beginning steps to that. So, okay, so we're over here. Uh, this is the creek that comes out of Deep Creek on the south side of Morgan Valley. And you can see the river here is right up to the bridge. Um, now there, there are counties here, they're dredging it out getting all the, the debris and whatnot. There's gonna be a lot of debris in all these canyons, all these creeks that come out and they've gotta keep it clean because as it backs up, that is the worst instigator for flooding. It just pushes everything back upstream and it doesn't even take a whole lot of debris to back things up. I mean, when you're dealing with that type of capacity, all it needs, needs is just a light level of, of uh, you know, stoppage to push things up in over banks so uh, they've had some serious flooding here the last few days 
uh, since yesterday actually. Uh, you can see here there's a line there going along that way uh, where the, the riverbank was. So you can tell that's basically that's the, the bridge line. So the water was overflowing this bridge, most likely caused by that debris, and so it was running over, which is why the county's here now cleaning this out. Okay, uh, I've come here to a point uh, in between Stoddard and Enterprise, just because it gives a good overview of the valley here uh, to show you the river. So as we look down, I'm gonna zoom in here. You can see, uh, yeah, so there's some flooding oh, over there. It's just pouring out into those fields. Now, the river's definitely over its banks, you know, as you, as you look through there. It is overflowing. But again, look how much snow is still on these floor bottoms. All of that has to come out before your high level snow or even mid level snow comes out. So when you're seeing this type of flooding, um, it's obviously everyone knows it's, it's problematic. Now that doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to be terrible. Uh, days like today kind of help temper, it gives us a freeze, thaw, freeze, thaw effect, which is nice rather than just getting continual 60, 70 degree days right now. Because as we get continual 70 degree days, that's what really pours out the water quickly and that's what causes the flooding. So, okay, so we're down here farther into the Peterson area. And I'm looking down, there's a new subdivision down here now. If you look across into this flat, you can see can't tell if that flooding over there is just from the runoff in the fields or if the river upstream there is overflowing its banks. Um, I suspect it's from the river overflowing its banks because that's quite a bit of water. If it is, you can see through, there's a gradual slope. This subdivision stands to possibly have a lot of turmoil. It's going to be tragic. But the river's over flames. It's been just right there over the freeway. You can see down there. And all along, it's, it's begun. And see, right now, another thing to remember, right now you're actually looking at the low water point because you've taken all the, the melted water from yesterday and already put it into the river. Um, so... It's, throughout the day it might decrease a little bit from here but the point is is from here on out this is kind of a low point for the river it's only going to increase from here for a good while weeks possibly months okay so we're still the 13th of April down here in uh, South Weber and Uena area actually looking towards Uena. Um, the river here right in front of us right here is actually not the river. The river actually flows over there. So you can see upstream it is just this is this is a very gravelly basin uh, and it's very flat level and so it, it naturally directs I also suspect that the, probably the county and the state have tried to redirect in the past some of the river to flow over here to try to get it away from the homes. So you can see that all of the homes over there, I mean, because it's all just a big flat basin, there's not much elevation change on this uh, Uena side of the river. So over there you can see that they're already making preparations to dike up mounds of dirt try to keep it out but uh, I don't know I don't know how well that'll work I'm hoping but this whole area is going to be prone now we've seen pictures from uh, particularly 1952 where all of this area is just underwater and so 
if this year is like that or worse, it's gonna be problematic. You can see here the, the little pathway, the hiking slash uh, biking pathway. Down there is underwater, and then up here, the river has actually not only put it underwater, but it's even eroded there, the, the bank cut it out. So, like I pointed, it's the beginning.